Hello YouTube, this is God of Radio Moscow here again for you with another beer review. Now today I want to review, make my first French beer review. This is the Brasserie Meteor Blonde, Export Blonde Beer. Now this is another brewery that has a really interesting history behind it. They were founded back in 1640 in a little town called Hochfeld, which is a few kilometres north of Strasbourg in Alsace region in northeastern France. But interestingly for this brewery, they've kept all their brewing uh, processes on the same historic site, which makes it the oldest brew, uh, brewing site within France. But back in 1640 they were founded by a man called Jean Clown, and then the next uh, point in history that's noted after this is in 1844 when the brewery is bought by Martin Metzger who was a brewer from Strasbourg. Now his daughter Marie Louise Metzger married Louis Hag in 1898 and this gave birth to the Metzger Hag brewery and in 1916 Louis Hag created the Louis Hag Metzger SC which I, I presume means and company brewery with his two sons Frederick and Alfred and in 1925 the name was changed to Brasserie Meteor which is the name that is still used today but the idea behind that was just to give it some more appeal throughout France make it a kind of a sort of attractive name throughout France and in Europe just to sell the beer internationally. Now in 1927 Louis Hag and his son Frederick created the famous Meteor Pils which was inspired by the Czech Pilsen beers and this was the first Pils style beer to be brewed in France and interestingly it also had the seal of approval from the Czech government. I guess this is one that I'll maybe need to see if I can get a hold of when I go to France at some stage and give that a review as well. But anyway in the 1950s there was a significant period of growth for the brewery and in 1950 1956 they surpassed the 100,000 hectolitre brewing point and then they passed the 200,000 hectolitre brewing point in 1966 so that gives you an idea of how quickly this brewery kind of grew. Now in 1975 Michael Hag who is a seventh, uh, a member of the seventh generation of the Hag family became CEO of the company and in 1977 he introduced the Ackerland Alsace Speciality Beer which is one you can find quite widely in the export beer shops within Europe. But in the 1980s, the brewery also underwent an expansion to produce larger volumes of beer just due to increases in demand. And in 2004, they built an automatic bottling line for 5 litre mini barrels. And this made them the largest beer producer in France. But today, Michel Hag still runs the brewery with his wife Yolanda. So that is, it's, it's, as you can see from the history of this, it's a, one of these family-owned breweries that's just passed down the generations, which is always nice to see. It kind of gives you an idea that the brewery has uh, some integrity in their brewing processes. But anyway, their other beer, the other beers from this brewery include uh, the Lager, the Pils, which I was saying earlier on, is quite a famous one and I'll need to give that a review. There's a Grand Malt, which is a darker beer and has some really rich flavours in it from what I read. There is Blanche, which is a fruity beer and it's uh, a white fruity beer actually and it's recommended that you drink this with a slice of lemon. There is the Beer de Pretoms and the Beer de Noel, excuse my French uh, pronunciation there, but these are the spring and Christmas seasonal beers. But Meteor also produce a beer called Wendelina, uh, Wendelinus which is described as an ancient savoir faire and uh, I believe from what the website said the English equivalent of this is an Abbey beer so that might be, a, I've seen, I'm sure I've seen that one around so I'll need to see if I can get that and review it at some point as well but this, the, all the Meteor brews apparently use Brie, Beauce and Gatinay barleys from France they use Str uh, Strisselplatz hops from Alsace and Satz hops from the Czech Republic and they're all brewed with pure water from the Vosges water basin. So this will be a quite an interesting one to try. Now I'll just get this guy open in a little second and we can have a little look at the bottle and the cap. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So as you can see, it's got quite a nice, it's got quite a summery looking uh, bottle this one. As you can see it's kind of nice and yellow and stuff like that. Not too, it's not a too, too fancy label, like a, you saw from my earlier beer reviews, the Czechs always seem to do nice labels, but this is this is kind of a plain one. Uh, the bottle cap isn't really anything exciting, it's just got the little uh, Meteor label on it there, as you can see. But I'll just get this uh, guy out and we can have a, have a look at him. So this one is a 4.8% uh, blonde lager, and like I said earlier, this is an export only beer. Get this out. It's actually really, really clear. It's a really, really nice sort of apple juicy colour. It's actually really nice. There's not so much carbonation visible in this one, and the head's already starting to fade. Not a very foamy head, I have to say. Quite a bubbly head rather than a foamy head. Let's just give this one a little smell. 
kind of smelling some uh, some pale malts in this one. It smells kind of bready, and I'm picking up some kind of like uh, grain flavor, grain smells. Not really corn in this one, I have to say, more grain. There's a little hint of uh, maybe citrus in there, but it actually does smell kind of uh, quite apple-y, actually. But yeah, it's pale malts, kind of sweet, bready, quite grainy, definitely, yeah. So let's just give this a taste. Oh yeah, that's... Like I say, this, like I said with the aroma, you can taste the breadiness in this. This is actually quite a nice beer. Mm. Kind of, you can pick up the pale malts. It's not a very, very sweet beer. It's more bready. It's kind of, it feels a little heavier than standard sort of uh, lager. So it's like, like I say, the blonde lager, I would expect it to be quite light, but it's more, I'd say it's more of a mid bodied beer. But the taste itself, yeah, it starts off bready. There's a little hint of a sort of sweet, palish malts in there. Not really some citrus, actually. Yeah, there's not really there's not really any citrus in there. You see, it's medium bodied. It's quite crisp, actually. It's quite a refreshing one. There's a very, very mild, bitter finish to it. This is actually a really, really nice drinking beer, I would say. Very, very good summer beer. Certainly better than a lot of the kind of mass-produced lagers that you find in the supermarkets these days. Definitely, if you're looking for a drinking beer, I would recommend this one. It's got quite a nice flavour. It's a lot... In terms of kind of... Uh, drinking beers that I've had before. This one's really pale and it actually tastes quite different from a lot of mass produced stuff but it's really nice. I would say it's it has a bit of a paler flavour to it. It's definitely worth a try I would say. I got this bottle for I think I paid one pound for it so I mean you can't really complain with that in the beer but anyway like I say very kind of pale taste, medium bodied, uh, quite crisp, very refreshing actually, mild bitter finish. A really nice beer and I mean it's fairly cheap. I would definitely recommend giving it a try um, but anyway, yeah, thanks again for watching my beer reviews. If you have any questions about the beer at all, just uh, please comment on the videos. Uh, I'll put the brewery, the brewery web address in the description of the videos as well. But please, French people, if you're watching, please suggest French breweries for me to have a look at because uh, French beer isn't really very widely available here. I understand you guys are more into your wine, but please suggest French breweries for me to have a look at. The only real one that's readily available over here is Cronenberg, which a lot of people don't like very much. But please suggest some French breweries for me. But anyway, to all of you, thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe all the standard stuff you do on YouTube. But thanks again for watching, and I'll be back with another beer review soon. Cheers.